Hey guys, Rob Joe 3, Bad Poncho Outdoors. Today we're going to go over reading your 2D sonar in your Humbird unit. The 2D sonar is your most basic reading that you'll get from anywhere from the uh, Pronomax 165 on up to your oh, Onyx 10 SI. This reading is one you see your, oh, if you're running black and white, just your basic grayscale stuff, or if you're running your color, your reds, your greens, blues, stuff like that. The 2D is probably the most important thing that you end up running on your unit. I know I've got the SI unit, the 899 SI. And more often than not, I end up running the uh, the two D sonar because of the, the detail I actually get out of it and be able to see, you know, truly see fish. Uh, when I say truly see fish, I'm in the arcs. Uh, you see on the forums and online that you know guys getting nice crisp arcs. Uh, well, we're gonna tell you how to do that. Uh, on my eight ninety nine, usually I like to run clear mode, so I feel like max mode is more for trying to locate fish. Um, a little more detail, or a little more detailed um, for locating fish. I mean, I'll use max mode for finding a thermocline and stuff like that. But we'll go over that in another video. Like I said, we're trying to run clear mode, and usually I run oh seven or eight on clear mode, uh, and then you know I'll run my two hundred, my eighty three kilohertz uh, beams. So I feel like the two hundred is great for getting your bottom uh, bottom hardness and, and contours and stuff like that. While the eighty three is a little better at that you know, from the boat to the, to the bottom of the lake kind of deal. Uh, and what you're really looking for is moving, you know, at one or two miles an hour, maybe three miles an hour, um, and getting that fish to actually arc. The arc is where the fish enters and leaves the beam. So you'll notice that, yep, the reading starts out in a nice solid read in the middle of the beam, and then where it leaves the beam. That's actually what we're trying to find. Like I said, two you know, miles an hour ish is where you want to be. Um, you know, give or take one miles an hour. Uh, you'll notice that if you're sitting still, vertical jigging or something like that, when you look down, your fish, if it's directly just, just sitting there, it'll be just a flat line. That's because that fish didn't enter and leave the beam. It's important to remember that this beam is a cone. You know, it doesn't come out just as a simple, you know, cylinder. It comes out actually, you know, super thin and it's wider as it goes down. Now, that means that your reading, say if you're in a foot of water, I mean, it's only going to be just a few inches versus, you know, the possibility of a few feet, you know, 20 to 30 foot down. And that's really important. A lot of guys forget about that. Um, the only ones that really truly kind of read in almost a cylinder shape are the SIs. Um, DI does somewhat, but it's still not quite a, as true cylinder as we'd like to think. But being able to read your 2D sonar, you know, it's all about trying to find the arcs, trying to find the bottom hardness and stuff like that. And you'll be able to see trees and, and stuff like that. I mean, it's a little blurry trying to find the actual cover itself on the 2D sonar. Down deep, that's where your down imaging really comes into play. Like I said, so I, I run mine on, on clear mode at about 7 or 8 for sensitivity. I like to turn charts, the chart speed down to 2 or 3, um, and I'll kind of troll around at, you know, two-ish miles an hour, uh, and, and that'll be the best freshly finding fish under 2D sonar. But I'm Robert Joe, 3rd Bad Poncho Outdoors. Thanks for watching, guys.